Oh, okay. Hello, hello. Did I hit the right one? Yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> it short. hits the, the red button. I know, but like the streaming, I don't remember if it's like up here. I, I often don't remember if the streaming and recording button are in the opposite. That's why it takes me a minute, okay? I'm sorry. It's been ha- over half a year. Look, look. I don't... Anyway, <laughs> I was going to tell you a story earlier. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, hello. I don't remember if I said hello. Okay. Um, but, okay, so... Um, so Johnny recently got back from Spain, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I he was... He still hasn't cameoed. No. And he never will. Um, and you, let him. <laughs> you have a fear of him seeing this. I don't have a fear. It's just I'd rather not deal with that conversation. Because he'll <laughs> want to talk about it, and I don't really want to talk about it with Johnny. But anyway, so I was playing. I was playing games with him. He's too hetero. For this shit. He's too hetero. Um, I was playing games with him. Right? Mm-hmm. He was. He was at his girlfriend's. And I was, we were, you know, on headset. We were playing some Borderlands. Yeah, as, yeah. as we do. And he, and the reason I'm talking about this story is because you brought up the danger prone thing. Yeah. Um, you are. It, shut up. Anyway, it, I'm sad because that day there was one person in the world who didn't know the chip story. That then learned the chip story, and that was his girlfriend, Savannah. <laughs> he on call because she was sitting next to him, and he had like my like audio coming through the TV so that you know she could be like kind of no, somewhat included, no. right? And I don't remember how it came up. So he's like, So Savannah, have you heard this story? I'm like, Don't you dare. She doesn't know it. She doesn't need to know it. So he regaled her, like, like the 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 version of the chip story that makes me look like a buffoon. Oh, he tells Look, it worse than I do. Probably a little bit, roughly. Okay, a little. Like, I mean, roughly, you know, the same. Cause, well, because he was there, he is. Ad- he's also adamant that it was like two in the morning. Okay, but I, I know for a fact it wasn't. So it was like midnight. It had to have been like midnight. Okay, that's that's what I'm. You do realize at. that's not that's not much better. I would say it's better than two in the morning, but because you're you're still going and doing it. I digress. <laughs> so he he regaled. To Savannah, his girlfriend, right there, put me on blast. Someone who didn't know the story that I was hoping would never learn the story. Because not everyone needs to know that about me. Not everyone needs to know about my blunder. Is that just your golden achievement right there? It's just... So people not learning the story of about... <laughs> I mean, the chip story is so good. My though. golden achievement. It's I don't know if so I'd call good. it my golden achievement. It's probably... I'm trying to think if, like, I... I... If you've witnessed, no. If I've had a catastrophe that bad before, it was to the point where bad. it's like I just, I just twisted my ankle. Yeah, <laughs> in a divot, walking up a hill to get a I bag guess, of barbecue chips at night. I have one. I put myself on blast. There was one time that, like, um, so I have knee problems. Yeah, I have patellar subluxation, which means that my uh, kneecaps slip. And it hurts like sh- it hurts like shit, and so I have to force it back into place. Whoa. I've had this since I was a child, and um, there was one day. It was like I think it was Sunday. I was pretty sure because the next day it, there was a field trip to the Baltimore Aquarium. Oh, <laughs> dope! And I was so excited, and I was outside, and I was like twirling and spinning around and stuff. And then there goes my knee. I fall to the ground and scream. <laughs> yep. And then my mom comes out and she's like, what the heck happened? I'm like, my knee. And she's like, walk it off. (laughs) (laughs) You can do it, champ. Just walk it off. Just walk it off, champ. She's been that way for years. We're like, you know, like, this shit hurts so much. And then my mom just looks at me and goes, walk it off. (laughs) That's kind of what happened when I broke my elbow. (laughs) When I broke my elbow, my mom was like, Sitting there next to me, I was sitting there crying, holding my elbow. She was like taking my arm and bending it up and down. Like she's like, "See, it's not broken. It's not broken." Like bending my arm a full ninety degrees. And that's where my next point comes in. <laughs> <laughs> so I calmed down, and uh, I'm just like, "Mom was like, we're gonna go to Walmart for something." I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I I, I limp around in Walmart for like I don't know an hour or so. Uh huh. 
we get back home and I'm like, I'm going to take a shower. And I try and pull my pants down and my knee is the three size times the size. Uh, uh, and mom looks at us like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Whoops. And so like she takes you to the hospital and like uh, the nurse was like, yeah, you sprained your knee. You shouldn't be walking on it. And then mom was like, sorry. <laughs> Bless. I sprained this knee right here mm-hmm. three times. <laughs> Let me tell you how broken my knees are. So like, okay, I'll show you. Oh, All right. Knee. So you see it's in the middle, right? Yeah. When I bend it, it goes this way. Oh, that's how fucked up my knee is. It goes woo. <laughs> it the, just twists. When I finally went to the doctor and he was like bending my knee, he's like, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to hear your doctor that's say. It's just like, right. well, that's not right. <laughs> because like I have, my patella has subluxed so many times on my right, especially my right. Like it is permanently damaged. Mm. Uh, you but... Know. Hmm? The condition goes away the older I get because apparently the reason why my knees do this is because my joints are very flexible. Mm. Apparently I have joints of a contortionist. Mm. An ability I will never use. Yeah, it's like, but you're not in what? like that I know. field. And why the <laughs> fuck does it hurt? So. Maybe it hurts when they do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and see, that's one, one injury I've never had is a knee injury. Yeah, Never. you you had all ankles. Mm-hmm. I yeah. I keep saying this Shut like up. when we have children, <laughs> they're gonna have the worst legs, the worst fucking legs, it's but weird. amazing hair. Facts. <laughs> gotta gotta have, you know, gotta gotta weigh your strengths and weaknesses. I it's fine. Well, I'd say I haven't twisted my ankle in a while, but I'm pretty sure I've twisted it in the last few months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember though. Yeah, I had a near I had a near miss at work, just oh stepping off a curb wrong. But luckily, I was wearing tall boots, so I, I just fell. Oh, do you, I just do you fell instead that? of yeah. Yeah, I get those sometimes. Well, I just instead of like like my ankle rolling and me putting all of my weight on my ankle because my boots are tall, it just pulls me down and I fall over all the way. <laughs> I just fall over instead of stepping on my ankle. Yeah, there there are moments where like I'm walking and then I almost feel it happening. Yeah, and it's like a moment of like. Mm-hmm. Like hoping it doesn't do it's it. It's the fucking worst, man. It's the worst. But yeah, I just like shake out my knee and it's all gone. right, right. But yeah, that was that was the story. Yeah, We're broken people. <laughs> oh, I've received like no physical injuries. Lucky boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, aside from like bruises and things, but True. like I don't really count that. Facts. Oh, I get bruises all the time. Right. I'm just a <laughs> Banana trip, fall, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look at a bruise and I have zero idea where it came from. Well, me too. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, with, with all the talking out of the way. Yeah, the I podcast portion is gone. Yeah. Let's go. All right, you're, y'all, y'all are welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> He tried to walk away from me, but I kick him in the lower back, and he goes stumbling uh, forward onto his knees. Oh, yeah, we're in a flashback. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, topical. Uh, he says that he stays there, and not bothering to move at all. I glare at the back of his head, uh, breathing hard. How does it feel when it's uh, happening to you? My voice uh, shakes as I yell at him. I I'm not used to doing this th- doing something like this. Was oh, he beating up Sydney? It felt so gross. But at the same time, I feel like I'm uh, finally teaching him a lesson. He's had this uh, coming for a long time. Why are you so mean to him? Yeah. He doesn't answer. Instead, slowly getting up to his feet, uh, wiping his face and back and back of his hand. <clears throat> I told him to come out here to make one of his uh, tr- to make one of his treasure hunts, uh, just so I could confront him like this. It's not going how I I thought it would, but <clears throat> how I thought it would though. He's just standing there, not saying anything. Finally, he starts to walk away again, shoulders slumped, ears and tail down. 
I feel another uh, burst of anger following him. I quickly overtake him, uh, uh, his slow pace, and shove him as hard as I can in the back. His head snaps <clears throat> uh, back before he falls flat on his stomach on the ground. Dang, Chase. He stays there for a, a long, long time while I stare at him. I can't remember what happened after that. Jesus. Okay. <sighs> oh, and that's the end of uh, the end of Wednesday. Yep. Now we're on Thursday. And this suspicious, <laughs> soggy-looking letter. Is it out of touch? <laughs> oh, is it out of touch Thursday? Uh, you know, we out of time. That you're not in my head when you're not around. I'm not gonna sing it so we don't get copyright because I'm just gonna sing it that good. But that's fine. <laughs> do they do that anymore? I can't keep up with YouTube. Copyright strikes? <laughs> yeah, like for singing a song. For I don't know actually. Like if like if I like if <laughs> you like sing like a sing section a of a song. Bit, yeah. Like, I don't know. I can't keep up with the algorithm. I, I don't know. Mm, who they even knows? Release, like, like book. patch notes. We'll see. Every uh, month. The the problem is that there is a rule book, and it's not YouTube. It's the copyright holders, mm. because they can like abuse the YouTube system and just say like anything similar oh, yeah, to their thing. Yeah. So it's not it's not YouTube's fault. It's broken. But it's like there's no way of really fixing it just because of how gray the yeah. <laughs> fair mm -hmm. use laws are. Mm -hmm. So it's like eh. You win some, you lose a lot. It's for educational <laughs> Education, yeah. <laughs> Very important. There we go, there we go. <clears throat> There's a dull throbbing in my head when I wake up, a remnant of, ra of, a, of the raging headache I had had yesterday. I take some Tylenol when TJ goes into the bathroom so he doesn't see. I don't want him. I don't want to worry him. While he's a... Uh, uh, taking one of his insanely long showers, I go back. Uh, I go down to the lobby to get some breakfast. There's a lobby. I, I yeah. This was a motel. It is a motel. There's probably. I mean, there's probably like a. Motels? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, like you would go to the the uh, leasing office or whatever. Yeah, yeah they the probably desk have. Area? A, yeah, concierge. They probably have a big enough one. I yeah. mean, it has a continental breakfast, so I mean, you know, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, you know. When I come back into the room, balancing two plates full of bagels, uh, bacon, and eggs, I'm surprised to see TJ already done. He's busy brushing his fur in the mirror, and trying to uh, tame, tame the comical, fluffed-up uh, look he has going on. <coughs> I can't believe I forgot my shampoo. Oh, look at how uh, ridiculous I look. He holds his arm out uh, to me and Jenna. Yeah, okay. And Jenna grunts, not really paying attention as she uh, types away furiously on her laptop. She doesn't give a fuck about anything this route. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you know. No, she doesn't give a fuck in this route. Mm, yeah. This one no. she's just gonna, Well, because Chase is there to take care of him. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking care of the baby. Fuck. Yeah, we're babysitting this route. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. Of course you do, Chase. Uh, TJ smiles. <laughs> you mean funny? No, you look uh, you look a little chubby. I, I smirk at TJ's mortified look <laughs> as I set the plates <laughs> down. Right? <laughs> no, I'm just fluffy. <laughs> and the uh, table which forces Jenna to push her laptop aside for the moment. TJ opens a packet of jam and butter uh, before uh, spreading it neatly on the bagel uh, cut in half. I watch as uh, some of its uh, sticks uh, to the long fur around his mouth while he nibbles at it. You know what? I, yeah. So, so you know how you're supposed to eat bagels like cut in half, like you know, with like the flat side, and you put the stuff on the flat side. Yeah. Have you ever witnessed someone put like? Butter and jam on the outside of a whole bagel and just just bite it like that. I saw it one time when I was at a hotel. I mean, no! just some guy. Like oh, it was because I had because you know I had to do a, a class for work like like um, early last year to get a, a certification and it was the class was at a hotel. Yeah. And you know they had like continental breakfast with people that were staying there and there was just. A guy with a bagel, like the whole bagel, not yep. cut in half or nothing, and just uh, 
put the shit on the Look, outside. Look, if you're if took, you're in a rush, took a bite. I you guess. don't have time to cut that bagel, spread it neatly. Just take that butter, slap it on there. Now, I guess if you're really big brain, you just not eat the bagel to begin with because bagels are bad. Oh, Josh. That's such a bad opinion. What? Is... Bagels are great. No, they're actually like worse than muffins. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you comparing them? They're two two different types of bread. Aren't they both quick breads? I don't think they're quick breads. <laughs> True. I don't I don't think it's a quick bread. I don't think bagels kind of is quick bread. Bagels don't count. Okay. I don't think so. Muffins are a quick bread. I think I, those do count, yes. Yeah. Because you like immediately bake them. Like bagels are not quick to make. They're not quick bread. Okay. So. But. <laughs> That's even worse. They're not even like a quick bad bread. It's like a long you, bad bread. Would you rather have a bagel or an English muffin? <sighs> When's the last time I've had an English muffin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not white enough for an English muffin. <laughs> You're not gonna be colonized that easily. <laughs> no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> he wipes away with an he wipes it away with a napkin, only to start the process over again. It's so hard that you're uh <coughs> wait, it's so sad uh, that you're going to spend all your time doing homework, Jenna, and ignoring us. <sighs> I'm taking two midterms uh, the Monday we get back, so it's fairly necessary, TJ. It's the first time I've heard about these midterms. Why didn't you care about them this much in other routes? Uh, because she was getting the D in one of them. I and... mean, true. I, I guess that's enough to make you not care as much about studying in midterms, right? huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I'm sure John didn't care about Jenna's midterms. Probably not. So I don't think he would. So there point. you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And she was doing the studying in like Leo and Flynn's mm -hmm. route, so mm -hmm. we got there. True. Uh, Jenna doesn't even look up from her laptop as she responds, uh, focused solely on uh, whatever it is she's typing. I'm pretty sure she's just uh, shoved half a bagel into her mouth before she went back to work. TJ sits there quietly for for a moment, uh, taking another bite. You think you'll have uh, time to do anything today? And Jenna doesn't answer for a few seconds. The only sound... <coughs> the only sound... The faint patter of, key of the keyboard. Uh, finally, she stops and looks up for the first time in probably an hour. I don't think so. I have a lot of work to do. Why don't you two go out and do something? We will. Like doing yard work. Oh boy. Uh, it would... <laughs> It would just be uh, nice if you could go with us. Man, I'd rather do yard work than hang out with fucking Julian. <laughs> Which I, I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> we're going to be doing today. I would rather do yard work in the desert than hang out <laughs> with Julian. That is what you just said, Terry. Is it an incorrect opinion? No. Yeah. It's just funny. I'd rather do yard work in the fucking desert than hang out with Julian. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this Julian. Oh, uh, we might get there. I snort. Yeah, uh, come with us to do more work at Janice's house. Again. TJ lowers his head. <laughs> again. And TJ takes another bite of his bagel, and it doesn't look like uh, he's gonna say anything. <laughs> no, I sigh. Yeah, she kind of cornered him and uh, got him to say he'd do more work. Jenna rolls her eyes and returns her attention back to her laptop, uncaring. <laughs> Janice, uh, Janice taking advantage of people. Shocker. Jenna! <laughs> TJ protests quietly. They have history. <laughs> right? You know she used to give me uh, some sort of sob story at the diner to get me to tip better. <laughs> TJ frowns. Well, she does have a tough life, Jenna. And despite being annoyed and at uh, having to go back to Janice's, I find myself siding with TJ. I think you do whatever you uh, whatever you can uh, here to make money. It's probably hard to own a house as a waitress. 
Yeah, well, uh, maybe don't be a waitress in a shit, <laughs> uh, crap town. She could at least try uh, to find something else if it's that hard. TJ is still frowning, his ears down. I can tell he wants uh, to say something more, but Jenna is an uh, intimidating figure to try and argue with. Mm -hmm. it's, quite for, <clears throat> it's quiet for a minute uh, before uh, Jenna sighs loudly. Sorry, I'm just a little stressed out right now. I have a lot of stuff to get done. Oh my god, an apology. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's all right. I wish we could help you out. Jenna laughs without any humor. I wish you could too. TJ uh, falls silent, staring, <coughs> staring at a uh, the small piece of bagel held between his fingers. My phone buzzes in my pocket, and I take it out, surprised to see a text from Carl. Oh shit! Yeah, because he was like disappeared yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they found him in the in the cross space. That's right. Yeah, yeah. they did find him this time. Yeah. Yo. I stare at it for a moment. Huh? It just says hi. Oh boy. To the mic. Take cover! <laughs> I hope you guys like bottle opening ASMR. Now twist that cap. Twist that cap slowly. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I had to. Please understand. This is why people make fun of you for your good acting during the sex noises for Flynn. <laughs> I don't remember making sex noises for Flynn. Yeah, you did. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> People are like, wow, Darian really got into <laughs> the flute sex. Noise. I definitely don't remember that. <laughs> well, it's all archived. Oh boy. But honestly, I blacked out during this. <laughs> Do not recall. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is it? Maybe I could make some money off of that. No. <laughs> and TJ asks around. <clears throat> his last bite, uh, his last bite of bagel, oh, holding a napkin uh, daintily in front of his mouth as he chews. Uh, Carl. Uh, Jenna stops, t uh, typing stops again. Really? How is he? I don't know. He seems okay. I realize that uh, I hadn't really had a chance to ask Jenna or anyone else what happened to Carl yesterday. Uh, where was he? Uh, Leo said you guys found him. Yeah. Jenna pauses, staring at the screen of her laptop. What happened? I don't really know. Uh, Flynn found him in the crawl space, apparently. The crawl space? For some reason, I get a chill running down my arm. What in the world was he doing down there? Uh, Jenna sh uh, <coughs> shakes her head. When I went down there, uh, he was just sitting on the ground, and Flynn told me to leave. I raise my brow, and TJ gives me a confused look. He was standing in front of him, so I couldn't see him, like if he was upset or something. What was he doing? And Jenna shrugs. Uh, Flynn took him upstairs, and we left after that. Was he, like, drunk or something? TJ seems to try and uh, word it, uh, word it delicately. Jenna shrugs again, and then turns back to her, to her writing. He's always high, isn't he? I look back at my phone. Wanna hang out? <clears throat> Is he that high right now? Mm -hmm. I, I. It takes a second to figure it out. It. It takes a second to figure that out. Look, there's no, there's no vowel. Look, I don't know if it's just because uh, Megan and I have a friend who <laughs> types in what is the equivalent of hieroglyphics. I have to read it three or four times to understand. Especially what they're saying. when they're like bone tired. Mm -hmm. It's near impossible. Uh, like you know, we have like 
one or two people. They also um, are not galactic. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we have like one or two people that can moderately decipher their uh, <laughs> their read. texts. I have to read it several it's, times. Yeah. So. Okay. But this is not. This is nothing. This is so easy to figure. Chase is just a dumb dumb. I mean, like. Wanna hang out? If you. That's what kids do. They take the vowels out of words, right? Do they? I guess. I mean, if it's a W N N. Yeah. Okay. So, so that I get, but the hang, I feel like, if those other words weren't there, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Fair enough. Wanna hang out? No. Hang like, out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Fair. Right. Uh, when I do, I look back up at TJ. What time does Janice want us over? Uh, we'll go in the evening. That's when it's not so hot. I look down. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My parents do that. Like, when it's during the summer and they have to do yard work, they wait until the evening to do it. It's mm-hmm. the smart time to or do it. Or early in the morning. No, my dad always does it, like, dirt early in the morning. <laughs> or yeah. you can do what my neighbor does and just... Mo. Oh, at like 12 at, at night. night. Yeah, like... At midnight. <laughs> yeah, at fucking midnight. <laughs> what a... What a Chad! <laughs> the literal... We call cool, the midnight mower. <laughs> the literal <laughs> coolest time <laughs> of day. <laughs> oh my god, that is so big brain. And Isn't it? I used to piss off my mom because, you know, she'd have to work the next day and then here's this asshole, like, mowing <laughs> Did you ever complain? Nine at night. Yeah, she complained. I can't remember if she called the cops on her or not. That's so funny. <laughs> I I feel like I would let it go the first time out of just sheer, I can't believe he's doing this. <laughs> hey, if you've got no time the rest of the week, like midnight, fuck it, right? It work. I know, I know. <laughs> That's so uh, good, though. I'm just like the midnight mower. That's so fucking good. The midnight mower. Oh my god, that should be a horror movie title. Let's go. <laughs> like some B like be scary. <laughs> it's the midnight mower. <laughs> if, you, if you hear him, it's already too late. This summer. <laughs> this summer. Prepare yourself. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. How about just a little off the top? <laughs> Starring Jennifer Love Hewitt and Ryan what? Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds? Is he the Midnight Mower? Those no, are just two right. names. No, you know who should be the Midnight Mower? To who? What's his fucking face? He's, he's psycho. Uh, what's his name? Oh, um, Patrick Bateman? No. Um. The guy that... Shit. <laughs> he was a Nightcrawler. Oh, 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 um... Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I know. I know his. I know him. Uh, he was uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Okay. Jake Gyllenhaal oh, as the Night the Mower. Dun, dun. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, TJ looks down and lowers his ears again. Quality content. Of course, of course. <laughs> because I don't want TJ to get all apologetic again. I keep talking. Do you want to hang out with Carl? And TJ smiles. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, that could be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, then. It'd just be a chill time. It would be, you know. Playing video games. Oh, would we have to only play rated E video games, though? True. Or E10+. Plus. Ooh. E10+. Spicy plus. for TJ. Maybe, like... maybe teen, right? <gasps> they don't say the cuss in teen games. Yeah, they do. Not, not, not with it. They didn't used to. They would say maybe damn and hell, but that's it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like, were there curse words in Xenosaga? <laughs> I don't think so. They said damn. Yeah, but hell, that's like it. But that's like, yeah. They never there, said like no, shit or there's fuck. There's no like fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> not in teen games of those days. No. You couldn't get away with it in video games back then. <laughs> No, but you could say he's one hell of a guy in Donkey Kong, right? Yeah, he's one hell of a guy. And then all kids who played that for the first time and let it play that were 10 years old looking toward their parents in horror. I'm going to get in so much trouble for this. <laughs> Remember when they said piss on a regular show? Yeah, and then they subsequently oh. removed 
It. Did they really? Did? Yeah. In in re airings, they don't say like like when he goes like you pissed me off. That he doesn't say that anymore. Cowards. What does he say? You ticked me off. Cowards. They yeah because that was one of the early episodes of regular show. Yeah. It doesn't hit as hard with piss. No, but they don't they don't say they don't say piss anymore. Okay. And they also say and in that same episode, I'm pretty sure. Or, it was around the same group of episodes. Uh, it was um, Rigby was like, he used to say, "How in the, how in the H are we gonna fix this S?" Yeah, that was like episode one. Yeah, they they changed that too. <sighs> they say he said he actually says, "How in the heck are we gonna fix this stuff?" They redubbed it to say that instead of "How in the H are we gonna fix this S?" It's just not as good. <laughs> I'm, that seems so odd. But it, okay. it's, it's it is yeah, interesting. They shield the children. Shield the children. I mean, and, and TJ. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> know what? Piss. You're right. You're right. We have to. All content needs to be safe for TJ. Yeah. It's not safe for work. It's safe no. For it's TJ. yeah. It's safe S- SFTJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Oh, you should change the na- the not safe channel <laughs> in the work for NSFTJ. <laughs> 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 Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, uh, TJ is also coming with me. Oh, he's coming, all right. Uh, for sure, though. <laughs> for some reason, though, I can't shake the feeling the uh, <laughs> that something is off. Stepping out into the parking lot, TJ immediately heads uh, starts heading for the road while I pause by the car, holding my keys. It's so um, like car nerds. Right? Probably, yeah. Uh, TJ turns around. Huh? Are we... are we walking? Hell no. I look up the road towards the uh, foothills of the mountains. Uh, Carl's house, an intimidating uh, speck in the distance, barely visible through the heat haze. (laughs) Oh, uh, did you want to drive? I shield my eyes against the sun, only just over the uh, mountains, but I... but still uh, promising a hellscape by noon. (laughs) I mean, did you want to walk? Don't, don't off. Just l- you, let him, let him walk. TJ can walk if he really <laughs> wants to. I can see um, TJ uh, TJ's demeanor deflate a little bit as he starts walking back towards me in the car. We can drive. He smiles at me, but I sigh and shove my keys back in my pocket. Jeez, don't do it. No, nah, we can go for a walk. It'll give us some time to talk anyway. Oh, okay. You fool. Oh my god. TJ smiles and waits for me to catch up with him, catch up to him before we start up the road. Okay. What is it, 102 degrees? Probably. So, everyone always tells me that, like, you know, Leo's the manipulative one. They're wrong, it's TJ. TJ kind of is the manipulative (laughs) one, though. Leo is a kind, honest person. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He might try and manipulate, but he's not great at it. Well, no. he, I mean, he successfully does it in his route. He manipulates you and the rest of the group the whole time. I mean, it's fine. He, he keeps you isolated from everyone else. What if that's what I want? By lying to the other people, saying that he doesn't want to hang out with other people. I mean, that's fine. Is that manipulation? Yeah. Well, it's more like gaslighting. Yeah, gaslighting. Hmm. You know. But I don't know. I find that... Which is like a <laughs> sister to yeah, I don't know. I think TJ's is far more... Um, well, no, yeah. It's like, yeah, active as opposed to shady behind-the-scenes manipulation. He's making you do yard work? What's Leo's manipulation doing? You get to be in a loving relationship with him. So, like... <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, we never really get back together with him it in his been, route. It would have happened. <laughs> I mean, we got to the end of the route, and it still doesn't happen. I mean, I mean, in both, in both ones, because you die in one of them, so you can't I mean, be together with him. And then the I mean, other you, one, you, you were together you for like a couple of minutes. Just let Josh live his life. <laughs> I'll let Josh bleed out from the ankles <laughs> while his wolf boyfriend carries him off into the sunset. Yeah, it'd be cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, while I'm not looking forward to trekking back to Janice's house in the heat, I'd rather TJ be in an upbeat mood. Why? What? 
he cares for some reason. <laughs> we're pretty quiet on the way up. It isn't until we're uh, uh, we're passing Janice's house that I finally break the silence. Man, why did you have to say yes? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I groan half teasing teasingly. Uh, shoving my shoulders into his, uh, sending him stumbling a little way into the road. <laughs> I'm sorry! The car runs up. Mm, poof. <laughs> oh, fucking bless. Is it so hard to say no? Well, yeah, it definitely is. I sigh. I would be, it, it would be fine if we weren't on vacation with friends we might never see again. TJ sulks a bit. Don't say that. It's kind of true. I remember that the uh, trip is already sort of ruined because of Flynn. Anyway, it's not that easy, Chase. Especially when uh, she's all smiles and expectant like that. You tell her no. You slap her in the face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Come on, TJ. Be an asshole. Right. Uh, you, you should stop um, letting people take advantage of you. <clears throat> A, well, TJ should stop taking advantage of others. Uh, TJ starts at the stares at the ground. Sorry. TJ, stop apologizing. Uh, TJ flattens his ears, and I realize that my tone might have been a little too harsh. Okay, now I'm sorry. I was mostly joking, but it's frustrating to see you get pushed around. I don't really get pushed around. I ignore him. <laughs> And get taken advantage of. She doesn't take advantage of me. Why do you think she only <clears throat> asked you for these things? He opens his mouth and I uh, didn't let me answer. And I didn't let him answer. Huh. Because she knows you'll say yes. That's basically the definition of taking advantage of someone. I nudge him uh, again with my shoulder. But he manages not to fall into the road this time. You gotta be a little more assertive. Uh, stand up. For yourself more often. TJ shoves his hands in his pocket. Beep beep. <laughs> beep beep. Not, Not insertive. <laughs> True. Uh, TJ is, uh. <clears throat> TJ just. Uh, say, t wait. So just say no. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so just say uh, no to people. Not just the, not just when it comes to saying no. Stand up to people uh, being mean to you too, Take like me. Yeah, Flynn's assertive. Mm-hmm. Leo's assertive. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's nice. Okay. I don't even. Uh, I don't mention Flynn, but I'm pretty sure he uh, knows what I'm getting at. I give him, I try to uh, give him an encouraging smile, but he doesn't look at me. It feels good, man. Uh, once you uh, do it once, you can't stop. You just start saying no to people, kicking them to the ground, stomping on their dick. It's great. <laughs> Grinding it into dust. <laughs> you start wanting to play Nubatama and Vanguard. You stride into Rene. You tell them no. <laughs> you want to turn? No. You Fuck don't you. get one. You don't get to play this game. I <laughs> mean, TJ uh, looks away and out into the desert. It sounds like you just want me to be mean to people. Yes. It'll be funny. It'll be great. I shake my head. You can be nice and assertive at the same time. It's a good combination. It's called being a top. <laughs> Do you think either of these two? No. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like... Like, there are two tops in this game, and they're Leo and Jenna. True. Which is why they fight each other. That's also true. Oh, it's the sign with the little hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our friend is I, back. I legitimately don't see it. Oh, I see Look at the little I hat. It. It's a little, like, Hunter's hat. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. You messed yeah. up. It's like a little Hunter's hat, see? It's a sign, and it has a little, like, one of the tall hats with a long brim. See? <laughs> it's got a little face. It's got a little face and everything. It's a little man's. It's a little man. <sighs> okay. Uh, TJ's quiet for a few minutes as we uh, start the painful uphill portion of the trek towards Carl's mansion. 
What a mansion! I, uh, do it. <laughs> I do it because I, I like to do it, you know. Huh? I, uh... <laughs> Do it? Even tiny little please do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fall in love. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> Slap. Do it. Mr. Do it. Mr. Do it. Mr. Do it. Mr. Do it. <laughs> Mr. Do it. <laughs> oh, when are we gonna play that again? Uh I'd be down. That would be a lot of fun actually. <laughs> you could because that that's easily like what? Ten episodes at max. Yeah, probably. I don't. I. I don't know if I'm that much of a pro gamer anymore. You'd. You'd. Fi- you'd fall right back into it. Oh I. I. God. I bet you. Would. I was such a pro gamer back then. You super were. <laughs> I was like playing all those games on a hard mode, doing like mm-hmm. bullshit to get through them. Yeah. Like, like. Like. Like your strategy. Did you do your strategy on 1999 mode? Yeah. God. It worked. Man, I tried 1999 mode and made it like... Look, when you just teleport into people and they explode, shit's funny. I mean, it's funny. It's just... It's kind of, it seems kind of hard in the harder difficulties. No, because you're just zipping around. True. Think, people are trying to get you and you're like, no, I'm going to teleport. <laughs> you're actually just Nightcrawler from X-Men. Like, just... That's a good way to think about it. I would love to be Kurt in, <laughs> in Columbia. <laughs> you want to be fuzzy? I love. I I really like Kurt. Kurt's probably one of my favorite X Men. God, dude, Hank's right there. I didn't say Hank wasn't. <laughs> Just because I like one doesn't mean I dislike the rest of them. Yeah, but like, Hank is just more. You know. I like Kurt's powers a lot. Kurt's Kurt's powers have a lot to do with how much I like him. Oh, okay, that's fine. But it's like if you want, like, you know, he's blue and fuzzy. But he's like fuzzy. That's that's you know, it's a little weird. Well, you know, you know, Hank. He's blue and furry. <laughs> I guess. And he buff. He also buff. Yeah, you kinda have your blue <laughs> your blue transformed. Yeah, you have both flavors. You have your, yeah, you your, have your bar twink. and your twink. <laughs> yeah, you have your buff and your twink. Pick your poison. <laughs> right, right. You can like both of them. I mean, I guess Kurt has two dicks, so like he has that going for That's him. That's true. Yeah. Okay. He gets railed by uh, Logan every now and again. I mean, you know. We know how Logan is. We know how Logan is. We know is. how Logan is. Yeah. <laughs> I was always... I'm still constantly waiting for them to just say that Hank is gay so we can all stop like pretending. Yeah, I mean, I mean, has he been with anyone, like, in a long time? No, I didn't think so. I guess there's, I guess they're afraid to cross that territory. Okay, so I think it was in the '90s when he was on the Avengers. Maybe it was the '80s. Uh, he had this weird relationship with Wonder Man, where they were like friends, right? Uh huh. But like, when you see how they interact, mm. you're like. Hmm. There's something else here. Like when he when Hank left the Avengers and then came back, he like when the other Avengers were there to greet him in the hallway, mm-hmm. he like jumped over them, hmm. pounced onto Wonder Man and then kissed him on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the way you phrased that. <laughs> kissed him on the mouth. <laughs> uh I mean, and you're, you know, I'm looking at that scene. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to be the one to be like, he gay, he's but, gay, but he gay, but like, it's so hard not to read him. No, as... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're you're super right, but you know, we can't have we can't have established characters be gay. Well, they chose Bobby of all people to turn gay. Yeah, that was kind of a. That weird was pick. the one where I'm like, you chose Bobby. The one who's had a long-standing straight relationship. Well, you know, they were showing people that hey, it can be it can be that way, you know. Like sometimes it takes longer. Yeah, but there for are there are other like, X Men characters that have been more like that would have also. I mean, you know, say if they no like, one would bat an eye if you just said Hank was gay. Like no, no one would bat an eye. And it, you know, Hank's kind of more, I would say, important than Bobby. <laughs> I, th- I, th- no, I think no okay so they're both really important because they were both founding members yeah you know they were part of the original five yeah so. but like i mean i don't know I, P- 
people, people, people recognize Hank more than Bobby. That's just, this is just fact. I'm sorry. I'm not, like, nothing against Bobby. This is just fact. I mean, I don't know how true that is. I mean, for me, yes. But, you know, we right. have Hank. I just, so. But I think that everyone remembers the Beast. Or a beast, you know? Yeah. People remember him more than Iceman. People like Iceman, though. People like him, but he's not beast level of notoriety. This just, this just is what it is. I mean, I guess you're right. When you're when you're Hank and you, like, genocide an entire population... Oh, you, you, you like become popular. A, you become more popular. <laughs> makes a statement. Absolutely. So, I don't know. You know, I... I <clears throat> Hank, Hank coming out would be kind of cool. I think it'd be kind of... Yeah, I, I think it's too late. Yeah. But, like... Because we're in an age where people are like, oh, stop like, constantly changing character sexualities. Mm-hmm. Like, we're kind of over that at this point. Now we just create new characters that'll flop and die. And <laughs> yeah, well, what are you also mad for? We put a character in that, uh, that was your quote-unquote representation, but you didn't like him. So we couldn't keep making the comic. So sorry. Me, me, me. I mean, it is fair because people just don't buy them. It's true. People just, like, don't, people just like, don't buy them. This is just the way it is, you know? But like, you know. I mean, it, I get it. Most of the people who complain about the lack of representation in comics don't buy comics. So it's like. Yeah. They just like, like to the, begin with. They like the idea of it being <laughs> there. But I mean, you know, it's like say, you know, I, th- I think Hank would be a good. I don't think I it's think too late to do one. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. DC, DC kind of is having a, a fun with that. Lately, eh, sort of. I mean, but it's DC. You know, it's that's DC. fine. So like, it's fine. You know, Tim. He, Tim's cool. Eh. I mean, but they never gave him his comic back, so like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that that's my issue. They're like, look, see, he's bi now, and it's like, well, one, literally everyone read him as bi even back in the nineties. Yeah, like that wasn't. He's, he's been this way like, forever. You, I don't you, know. Where you you've actually been. didn't have to tell us. Like we already read him as that. Yeah. <laughs> Like, did you see how he was basically always making out with Connor? <laughs> it's always, always had his tongue down Connor's fucking throat. It, it is what it is. Yeah, no, it's fine though. It's good. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm starting to pant a little. Uh, my short, stubby legs uh, already burning. I like to help her out. It feels good. Uh, I like it more. Uh, wait, like it makes you feel better about yourself. It makes me feel better about a lot of things. There's a sudden shift in his tone that cuts him off from saying anything else. It's a tone I'm uh, not used to hearing from him, and I'm, <clears throat> and I wonder if I went too far with the whole being assertive thing. I feel like there's a, uh, a whole, a whole lot more uh, going on under the surface, but now, but now doesn't uh, feel like. Uh, the time to delve into it. I try to make, <clears throat> try to think of something else uh, to talk about to change the subject. Anyway, uh, maybe the apologies, the apologizing thing, is uh, just part of your um, her- 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 heritage. 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 Yeah, because he's Canadian, and Canadians always apologize. <laughs> okay. That's what he's getting at. What? They don't apologize because they don't say I'm sorry. They say I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry there. I didn't see ya. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know you hit me with your car, but uh, I, I just, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I couldn't, I could have got it out of the way, you know? So I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> let me go buy you some Timmy's, yeah? Come on. I'll treat you some Timmy's. No, don't worry about that bone sticking out my leg. Let's just, uh, let's just go on to Timmy's. I'll buy you a black one. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no need to call the Mounties there. You know, don't want to disturb the Moosin. There we go. I covered all my racist bases. There we go. <laughs> oh, DJ laughs, uh, dispelling the tension easily. Maybe. Well, if you do go back at, <clears throat> at least you'll fit in with all the nice people. It's just a stereotype, and not all that, all not all that true. Uh, there were mean people in Wasatchewa. People in Wasatchewa. <laughs> I guess that's how you'd say it, Wasatchewa. 
Okay. <laughs> not like here, though. TJ nods. Yeah, uh, not like here. We're quiet for a few minutes. Uh, Carl's house promising, promisingly uh, close now. I'm distracted uh, looking up at it when suddenly TJ, uh, TJ uh, shoulder checks me right off the road. It's creeping me off my own feet into the sagebrush. Get Probably fucked. full of ticks. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I shout as I lay in the dirt, and the dust cloud uh, clearing to reveal a mortified uh, TJ still standing on the side of the road. Bless. Oh my gosh! I didn't mean to knock you over. I'm sorry. He catches himself, uh, though he the um horrified look uh, look is uh still on his face. Oh, is there a rancho on him now? I hope so. I uh I stare up at him for a while, uh, then burst out laughing. I see his tail and ears relax, his um, floofed out fur uh, laying down. He smiles, seemingly relieved. <laughs> You're learning. He rubs his up. <laughs> every time, I'm yeah, just like, every oh time. my god, green! <laughs> <laughs> it's like right there. I guess so. <laughs> that was pretty we'll, good. We'll end the part there. Alrighty. Hell yes. It's what needs to happen. His transformation has begun. His transformation has begun. We'll see you around, everyone.